hi it's me Claire um so I'm going to show you how to uh, set up this brilliant tool which is um, it's a ring bender uh, you can lose, use it for lots of other um, uses as well not just for making rings so if you do any sort of like cabochons or shaping other metals uh, shaping wires shaping some sheet as well uh, making corners it's a really great tool for that so if I show you um, how to set it up and then I can show you how to use it so first of all you are going to need your uh, vice to put it in so that you can get um, sort of good purchase when you're forming the um, forming the shapes so when it comes to you what you're going to get is it's going to come in um, a block like this and what I'm going to do you're, you're going to get um, you're going to get this weighty section here and that's the main body of the um, of the tool I've also got a couple of screws uh, an allen key uh, the handle which is going to go in here so we can put that on straight away so that just screws in there so if we turn it over what we're looking for is so if I turn it like that we're going to screw it in an, at an angle here so I'm just going to take this Pop that on, get the screws, just get those in there, line it up, and let's just get those started. Tighten it up nicely, turn that over. So I want to make sure, because we're going to be putting, um, you know, like I said, a bit of perch on this, so take your time just to make sure that you've screwed these in properly. That's really easy. So let's just tighten that. And tighten that one there. Okay, I think that's in. There we are. Okay, let's pop that there. That way. So the great thing with this is, so if I just pop that in, we've got the all the uh, different sizes, the corresponding um, dies and formers. So we've got all those. But so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop that into my vise. Just make sure that this is secure. So I'm just tightening this up, and I'm going to have it so that the let's just make sure that this is getting tighter, not looser. Just keep going like that. Just bring this in so I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and secure so that when I on that lever, so I just move that round a bit so that I can access it there. That's it, that's tightening it up. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm gonna have it so it's angled a little bit more like that. Let's tighten this up as well. Let's keep going with that. I'm gonna make sure that it's too nice and tight. There we go. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving the handle. So if I just move that a little bit there, so you can see my foot and the handle. There we are. So what's happening is as I move that handle, it's pushing this mechanism forward. And that's what we want. So it's this area that we want to be watching. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the um, uh, the dies and the formers. So let's go with uh, let's go with the 16 here. So you can see, so we've got the corresponding, they match up. So the one I'm going to pop in here. And you know that it's um, that they correspond because obviously they're going to fit together there, but it also says 16 here. And really usefully it says 16 there. So you're going to then push this part, so let that drop into the slot in there. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my uh, wire and I've got... Um, it's nice sterling silver. It's really nice to make stacker rings with. So I've got my sterling silver, uh, one point, uh, I think it's a 1.5 wire here. So the first thing I want to do is, we're, and we're looking at this area here. So I'm going to pop the, the wire. So just a little bit sort of sticks out there. And I'm going to start to just push the handle. I'm going to bring it back and go again. So that's then you can see that's curved this line here. And again, so I'm going to drop it in, push and push, and I'm going to keep working my way around until I get a beautifully formed ring, ring shank. So I'm going to, if I do a complete ring, I'm going to keep taking it all the way around. And we're going, drop that down a little bit and just push so I can push this way too. And you can see that has given me a really lovely, neat. So if I just snip that there, 
That has given me a perfect ring. 